You guys are gonna recognize this makeup in tomorrow's video, so apologies in advance, but I was working on my Natasha Denona Mini Metropolis palette and like a Sephora try-on when I got notification that my Beauty Bay palette got delivered. So of course, like a good YouTuber, I finished my Mini Metropolis video, but I ripped it right off so I could play with this palette. Oh my gosh, I ordered it the second that I could when I woke up in the morning and it was available and I've been patiently waiting for this palette to show up. So here it is, finally, and I cannot wait to swatch it. Put it on my eyeballs, so if you're interested, just keep watching. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on my channel. I love eyeshadow palettes, so you see a lot of new eyeshadow palettes on my channel and this one is no exception. So if you like to see swatches, first impressions, eye looks on my tan skin tone, this is the place for you. Highly recommend subscribing, turning on that bell, and without further blabbering, let's get into it. I'm so excited, you guys. I love Beauty Bay's eyeshadow formula. I feel like I always have. I have all of their palettes pretty much, especially like these 20, 15 pan palettes that they come out with in that like $15 price range. I did go ahead and order the new one they launched last Monday, I think the one for Jade and Beauty Bay, they did like a collab. That one's gonna be huge, it's like a 42 pan palette. So I did get shipping notification that that's on its way to me. It'll probably be like after my baby's born by the time that happens, but you know what? It's fine, it's fine, I can be patient. I have my Age of Opulence with me, so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this bad boy. I do have the Book of Magic. Sadly, a lot of you missed out on this palette, but listen, I tried to tell y'all to get this palette every time I saw it um, in stock. And if you guys missed out, I'm sorry, but it's your own fault. Same with the Wilderness palette. If you've been holding out on the freaking Wilderness palette, it just restocked this past week, I think. So what are you waiting for? get the palette before it sells out again, and then they might not restock it. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, guys. Okay, so here is what the palette looks like. A lot of people have been saying they don't love the packaging. I personally don't mind it at all. I just like that they didn't make it like obnoxious and huge. And it's a 20 color palette with a net weight of 1.4 grams or 0.05 ounces per shade. So quite a bit of shadow in here. On the back it says, take center stage and celebrate lavishly with the Age of Opulence eyeshadow palette. Inspired by glamour, decadence, and the new roaring 20s, the 20 shade eyeshadow palette is here to help you create looks that deserve the limelight with velvety mattes and intense shimmers, all in a pigment rich formula. These shades have a seamlessly blendable texture and major staying power for indulgent looks more opulent than the last. I'm so excited. 12 month shelf life, cruelty free, made in the PRC in case any of you care. Okay, let's watch, let's watch. Oh my gosh, so I've watched two videos on this palette already because honestly I thought this was never gonna come. So I've seen um, Melissa, uh, Makeup Missa is her channel, and of course my friend Angie. They both did beautiful eye looks. I love those two girls. So. I will link their channels down in my description box in case you have no idea what the heck I'm talking about, which in case you don't, you need to re-examine your life choices, okay? I'm just saying. Okay, let's watch, let's watch. Ugh. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. I, I can't, I literally cannot. Okay, are we ready? I'm not ready, I'm not ready, it's so pretty. <laughs> This is so cool. This year has just been like the year for eyeshadow palettes. Like, I just can't. Okay, so I swatched three neutrals. Okay, so I'm gonna talk through each row because I'm too excited. So this is the first row. We have the shade RSVP, which is just like a tan shade. Then we have Prohibition, which is a beautiful dark brown. Gold Digger, which is like a standard gold topper. Then we get to the shades that I'm excited about. So this shade is called Hope, which is like a beautiful teal. It's like the color of my shirt. I think that's gonna go in my crease. And then we have Noir, which is a black shade, of course. So this is swatches of row number one. Okay, so I swatch row number two. We have the shade Speakeasy, which is a beautiful eggplant shade. Then we have Champagne, which is a champagne shade. 
Rich, which is a beautiful teal, kind of like the shade of my shirt. Then we have Vintage, which is a beautiful like old gold shade. And then we have Curfew, which is a gorgeous dark blue like navy shade. Okay, so the third row starts over here. We have the shade Jazz, which is another gold shade. We've got Flapper, which is a beautiful purple like pink shade. We've got Age, which is a beautiful purple shimmer. We have Silk Stockings, which is a neutral, very light kind of brow bone shade. And then we have the shade Revival, which might be my favorite shimmer shade in the palette. It's just like a beautiful shimmer teal with a ton of sparkle to it. So that is row number three. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And then we just have one more row to swatch and then it'll be time to put this on my eyes. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I just swatched the last row and it starts with this beautiful purple shade right here. So that shade is called Daddy. Then we have a shade called Crush, which is like a pinky golden shade. And then we have Velvet, which is a stunning matte purple, like a true purple. And we have Decadent, which is a beautiful like cobalt blue shimmer. And then we have Lavish, which is basically the matte version of that shade Decadent. So here are the full arm swatches of the Age of Opulence palette by Beauty Bay. I think this palette is 20 bucks. I'm gonna link it in the description box for you guys. Highly recommend picking this up. Highly recommend picking up the Wilderness palette. If you've been waiting for my video, I just can't recommend the Beauty Bay formula enough to you. I'm a big fan of it. I know some people just have different experiences with different eyeshadow palettes. I mean, just among my YouTube friends that I talk to, some of us have such different tastes, so it really depends. But if you like the type of eyeshadow palettes I like, I think it's gonna be very safe to say you're gonna love these Beauty Bay palettes. So I'm gonna put my arm down because it feels like it's gonna break and I'm gonna get into an eye look with this palette. Okay guys, so I've been like dreaming of what eyeshadow combo to do with this palette because it's just like right up my alley. Ah, it's so pretty. I can't believe it's here. I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. I'm mentally having like a breakdown because I love this color story so so much so i'm grabbing a sigma brush this is a sigma e25 and i'm gonna go into the shade hope i just have to do it and i'm trying to think of if i want to do like a monochromatic look or if i want to do something different so we'll see what i come up with but i'm just gonna tuck the shade into my inner crease and bring it kind of to the halfway point here Oh, I can't, I literally cannot. When I tell you I could cry. This color story, this color, the blend, everything is happening. The way I wanted to. Mm. Okay, so I'm trying to be brave and I'm thinking I'm going to do the shade Speakeasy, which is this burgundy shade in the outer corner. I thought that would be a kind of a cool combo. It's a little bit different for me. So I'm going to do it. Everybody just say a prayer. I'm going to start on the outer corner and slowly build that in. I'm just gonna just pat and then shake, shake, shake the brush. Shake, shake, shake the brush. I'm in like friggin' heaven. I can't. I literally can't. If I could do an eyeshadow palette collaboration at this point, I think it would be Beauty Bay because <laughs> this color story is everything. Okay, I'm gonna go into the shade Flapper with the tiny brush and I'm just gonna add that over here and I'm gonna grab the shade gold digger and RSVP the two neutral shades and I'm just gonna pop that on the brow bone I'm gonna take this small brush with that shade hope and just really 
build it up. I can't breathe. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Ah, okay, I'm sorry. I'm just too excited. I haven't even talked during this video because I'm having so much fun. Okay, we're going to go into the shade Revival, which I told you is like the really pretty sparkly color. And I'm going to pick that up on a flat brush. Ooh, look at how much it picked up. Yes, queen. Oh. Okay. 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 Okay, I'm going to turn the brush around and go into the shade Age, which is the sparkly purple. Give it a little spray, and I'm just going to put some of that on the outer corner where I set down the shade Speakeasy. And I'm just going to blend. Alter those shades so the shade Speakeasy is going to get blended into the matte shadow as well as the shade Hope, just to give it like some of that sparkle at the end. This metallic stuff is picking up even better than any other palette I remember from Beauty Bay. I love it. I want to be buried in this eyeshadow look. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, so I just want to do my lower lash line for eyeliner. I'm going to use this Il Maquillage pencil. This is in their long wear eye pencil in Hero. It's like a really pretty dark blue and it's very pigmented. So I'm just going to put that all over the lower lash line. And then I'm going to take this pencil brush of mine, my favorite, from Morphe, and I'm going to go in with that shade Hope and just fill it in the front portion here. This teal is so pigmented, you guys. I can't even handle it. My lower lash line is going to touch my nose. <laughs> anyway, now I'm going to go into Flapper. And I did pull Flapper up all the way here. Oh my goodness, that is stunning. It's just so pigmented, you don't even have to think too hard. Okay, because I want to be extra, I'm going to reach for my Iridescence palette, the one I've showed you guys before. This just has like iridescent shadows from like my favorite brands, and I'm trying to find a pinky purpley one. I'm just going to grab this one, I think it might be a pinky purpley. And I'm just going to need to throw that in the inner corner here. Holy, I picked a good shadow for this. I think this might be my Davina's. I'm just doing like unicorn tears at this point. I don't even care. Shut the front door. I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't. Whew. Okay, we have a little bit of fallout. We just need a little bit of mascara. So I'm gonna fix that up and I'll be right back. Okay, so here is the look once the mascara is done. Oh my goodness, you guys. I would love to bring you guys more looks with this palette. So I'm gonna add that to my agenda, but I just had to come on here and just, <sighs> just sit here in confusion and just be like, I just, this, co this color story is everything to me. It's so beautiful. I will buy every single Beauty Bay palette from here on out till the end of time, unless something goes horribly wrong with their formula, which I really don't see happening. Like, I don't know why they would fix something that isn't broken, but this eye look is so me. I love it so, so much. I love the palette. The mattes worked beautifully exactly how I would expect them to. The shimmers worked really well as well. I used seven of the shades in this palette, so obviously I haven't used them all, but man oh man, just those seven are worth it for me. Okay, I'm gonna stop because all I have to say is good things and you guys will probably get sick of hearing me doing that. So I love it, I would recommend it. And I cannot wait to play with it some more. Those are all the things I'm excited for this weekend. So if you guys like this look, give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you picked up this palette. And I will have the rest of my makeup on tomorrow's video. That is going to be a testing new Sephora makeup video. So highly recommend checking that out if you're interested in knowing what else is on my face. Some of the links in my description box are affiliate links, so if you use them to shop, I will make a small commission, 
which I can throw right back into my channel. It really helps me out. Thank you guys so, so much for doing that, supporting me, supporting my little space here on the YouTube. So I hope you guys have a fabulous Friday. I'm so happy right now that like nothing could ruin my day at this point. And I'm gonna go get me some boba tea, I think. That's what I think I wanna do now. So anyway, I hope you guys have a fabulous day and I will see you in a new video tomorrow. Bye guys!